Amplifying your voice is shouting, dude. No, shouting is shouting. To people from every tribe and tongue, kindred and nation. And it's such good news that we we just feel compelled to come out and tell people about it. Even though, you know, hopefully you don't just out and out reject it. Maybe you think it's a little crazy for someone to be telling of the salvation of the Lord out here in Fort Collins on a Friday night. But, you know... Jesus said, all authority is given to me in heaven and in earth. So he's the one that God has ordained to be the judge and to be the Savior at the same time. Believe that, sir? God bless you. Thank you. Have a good night. So we have good news to tell. And it's good news that's like no other news that... We could tell you, say, good news is you know, you've won this or you've won that. You know, we get emails all the time and they say, oh, you've won this or you've won that. And it would, would be kind of good news if, if it was true, but the good news of the glory of Christ is something that goes so far beyond winning anything that this world could give you, anything that, anything material, anything that is going to eventually get old and and, and basically go away or that you're going to lose all the things that this world can give you are nothing compared to the salvation that is in Christ the salvation that he says here to hey, tell do you know from about day Quaker, to day do you know about Quaker ideology Quaker ideology yes have some, you heard of the so Society of Friends I've heard something about it. Your brother here hasn't heard of it. Okay. Well, and he doesn't know, and think that they're Christians. He doesn't know that, know what's going on. And, uh, and, well, and he tells me that I'm wrong. About? Being being a, a member of the Religious Society of Friends. Okay. And, and our ideology. I haven't said you're wrong once. I haven't said you're wrong at all. I just said I didn't know what it is. But he said I should, should instead. You say... Yes, but, right? You say, yes, you should, you believe this, but instead you should believe put, my thing. Yeah, you should put your faith in Jesus Christ. Well, it's not, not my thing. I mean, it's, it's you know, do, do, you, do you believe, what, what is the, what you're, is... You're a blindly what is, preaching things so, that you do not understand. How do you know that? Because you cannot talk to me about the theology of your own beliefs. Who made that rule? What rule? You just said we cannot. We I, made, I, made you that have not demonstrated your own ability to actually speak about your own beliefs. That's why I say you cannot. You cannot demonstrate your own beliefs in discussion on a street corner with a drunk see, out, of, out of your mouth comes cursing and bitterness. Ah, here we are. Policing the tone and uh, policing the words. In the tone. Well, that's not, just not quoting the this scripture to you. It says, you know, out, out of, out of uh, the mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. That's, no, actually, that's sorry, part sorry, of the sorry, fall sorry, of Adam. Sorry. The father Adam? The fall of Adam. The fall of Adam. Which has affected all of us. Uh, sorry, uh, Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3. So a, letter, see, so a that, letter to... So you don't really so, have, so you're quoting have respect for... A letter to the Romans. Are, am I a Roman? Is this relevant to me? What you're um, quoting at me? The Apostle Paul it, it is a apostle of God. And, and his message is given, to given other the ability, people. Given the ability oh, to... Oh, sorry. I, I, sp I see, cursed. I, I lost again. I lost again. Well, it just shows your ignorance, you know. I mean, you're, you, don't, uh, you don't have, you don't have, I guess, oh, the ignorant. vocabulary to I'm be able so to ignorant because I not use the F word on a regular uh, basis. Sorry, I use the just, F word. Oh, no. No. It is ignorant. It's ignorant it, yeah. to express so strong emotion English. with no. the strongest word in the English language, which is f And I believe you're f full of sh Yeah. Well, and you're also... As I said, so... Your mouth is full of cursing and bitterness because... Yes, because it is. You don't because have... Because your mouth is full of lies and oil. Do you love us? Do you love... And so oil. what lies have we told so far? Huh? 
Not what if we said that's not true? Well, you and by what standard is it not true? Lies. But, but oh, by what standard? Here, oh, now we want to talk about standards. Yeah. This guy can't talk about standards. He can't talk about history. He can't talk about theology. He wants to tell me that's I'm wrong. Your claim, he wants you know, to tell me I should believe should in Jesus Christ. But he wants to... Israel. Amen. Well, you but say you say you you say you're, Christ, you say you're a Quaker, and a Quaker. I keep no. looking, right? You say you're a Quaker, but I don't know that you're a very good example Jesus of Quakers. Right there, they no, wouldn't I'm not. Curse, they I'm wouldn't a curse, very poor They wouldn't curse fellow Christians, and neither would they not acknowledge Christ as Lord. So maybe you, maybe you only maybe you only profess to be part of Quakerism, but you don't really possess true faith. Is that possible? What? I mean, you you're, just, you're the you one just, that's... You just talked about five concepts in about ten seconds. Just, just that there's people that profess faith that don't have... Speak don't plainly, sir. Faith. Speak plainly. That is a Quaker concept. What do you say? What I just said. I mean, I don't know how no, plainly to say it. We state it. There's people and there's speak people it in who, less than twenty words. They, there's people who profess faith that don't have it. Is that true or not true? You're claiming that of us, right? That no, we don't, we don't I, have, I believe you to be false prophets. Okay, so we don't have genuine faith and, in Christ, right? And using tricks of language to further your point. Well, we, we love you. That's why we're out here. And, you know, I don't know, you, you seem to be offended, you seem to be upset. Because, I'm offended because, by the approach. Well, I'm offended by the shouting. No one's shouting. Then why do you, you use a microphone to make your voice about a hundred I don't have to shout, so I don't have to shout. You are literally That's shouting. Why. No, I'm not literally shouting, I'm talking. Your voice is 100 decibels. Well, I don't know about that, but... You you are speaking who made, who made through a megaphone. Who made the rule that you can't... Oh, oh I'm sorry. We're changing the subject now. You're not shouting, or are you shouting? No, who made shouting. the rules that you can't that you shout? you can't amplify your voice. Who Amplifying your voice is shouting, dude. No, shouting is shouting. Amplifying your voice is amplifying your voice. <laughs> Two different things. You know. Be, okay, so so shouting isn't making your lo voice louder. But yeah, we'll look up shouting and then look up amplify. Look it up, dude. Uh, please. It's not the same thing. Please, sir. Please give me the definition of each. But please give me the definition of shouting. Give me the definition of amplification. And 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 please well, you give me a you strong can't tell distinction the between. I can't tell the difference. Okay. You're shouting on a string quarter. I'm, I'm doing what Psalm yourself. 96 says. Tell of the salvation of the Lord from day to day. Declare His glory among the nations, His marvelous works among the peoples. You don't like it? Because evidently, I believe you, do. you don't have genuine faith in Christ. Oh, it's not genuine. So, so now you've resorted you to personal you attacks. No, it's not personal attacks That's an ad hominem attack. You tell me no. that I do not have now genuine who's, faith. Now who's shouting? Well, no, I'm just matching your own volume, sir. You have a megaphone. I only have my it's own voice. Not a, it's actually not a megaphone, Correct? I'd say. Right? He has yes. a megaphone. I have my own yes. voice. Yes. So, yes. tell me, so sir. So shouting? So, when you speak to me sing to the Lord, with through bless his a name. megaphone, salvation if you want to have a, a private conversation with me... I never said I did. Okay, then don't act like we aren't shouting at each other on a street corner, sir. <laughs> There's only one person shouting, that's you. You are shouting and I am shouting. No. Is that not correct? Yeah, it's not correct. Okay, but you're just as loud as I am right now. I don't know, maybe. Okay. Yeah. See, that's why I don't. That's why I don't do what you're doing. Because people are saying you're shouting. You are being a Pharisee. <laughs> By what standard? You are standing on a street corner. 
shouting about your own virtue. I don't know how there's, this is you not an apt analogy, listening. sir. You obviously haven't been listening because I haven't said anything about my own virtue. I'm talking about the salvation of the Lord. Really? Yes, we have. If you would, if you would take the time to listen, you would know what we're talking about. Nobody's listening. That's okay. You don't know that. How do you know that? Because, because you don't want anybody to be listening. Yeah, I, I'm actually mostly using my time here to distract you from mm -hmm. talking to other people. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for being honest about that. So. So we do, because, we do care about you. You've used disingenuous arguments. You walked up to me and said, Come on, do you believe in God? That's harsh. But see, here's, here's the it's attitude of the Pharisee that says, Thank God it's I'm not like other me. men. Thank God I'm not like other people. Are you like us? No, obviously. Exactly. That's the attitude of the Pharisee. Thank God I'm not <laughs> like other people. You know, you're shouting, I'm not shouting. But see, that's our natural state. Are you seriously? The natural the state of fallen humanity. Of Look up Christian nationalism, dude. This is the problem. Is people conflating Christian values? For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Early Americans. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord Christian made communist. the heavens. Keep that in mind. I hear you. This smokes mids, man. Splendor and majesty before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Splendor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. <clears throat> ascribe to the Lord the glory, do his name. Bring an offering to come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Yes, the Lord. The world is established and shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. So the kingdom of God is something that will never be moved. The kingdom of God is something that will never come to an end. We can fight against it. We can deny it. But in the end, it is going to continue and grow. It says he will judge the peoples with equity. And that should put fear in our hearts if we're living in rebellion to him. It says he is to be feared above all gods. But the natural state of man is that there is no fear of God before their eyes. The natural state of man is that we have no we have no heart for the truth, especially the truth about God. But God can change and has come to change that in the lives of an innumerable number of people. And we hope that all of you will be part of that change.